This video will explain and demonstrate how to use note blocks <coughs> to create uh, numbered notes and put them in a schedule. I'm going to start off by creating a new generic annotation uh, family, which is the first step. So we'll choose the generic annotation template and we'll delete the note. And we're going to add a label. So we'll go to the Create Palette, click on uh, Label. I'll just use the default 332nd inch label. And we'll place it more or less at the origin. And here we'll go ahead and add our parameters. <clears throat> so I'm going to add one parameter for the note number. We'll make this an instance parameter so that we can change it with every instance of the tag. And of course we need to make sure that it's text. And I'll go ahead and just group it under the text groupings and the properties. We'll add another one, and this will be the actual note text. Again, make it instance-based and text. The one that we'll actually use that will be visible in the tag itself will be the note number. And we probably ought to go ahead and modify this a little bit. Um, <clears throat> this is not a big deal, but I'm just going to give it a sample value that has two numbers in it, just to make sure that whatever kind of graphics I create for it can accommodate at least two numbers. So we'll go to the Create panel again, and we'll just do a circle for our tag. We'll just go ahead and drag this out. Now this is an annotation symbol, so you go ahead and create this at plotted size, and it will scale according to your view scale. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save this. I'll just call this Note Tag. <clears throat> and load this into the project. Now I'm not going to place it just yet, but normally to place these we would go to the annotate tag or, or ribbon, click on symbol, choose the note tag symbol, and then we can choose whether to put a leader on it initially. We can always add a leader later. I'm going to go ahead and put a single leader on here and then we'll modify the leader a little bit. Now I don't particularly care for the appearance of this leader, but we can control that, and this is a, a one-time deal really. When I click on the tag itself, I can click on the Edit Type button, change the leader arrowhead to say a 15 degree arrow, and then all I really need to do is input the value. So we'll, we'll make this note number one, make the note text, um, oh I don't know, uh, Structural column C structural plans. So there's one. Let's go ahead and do another. So we'll do another symbol, same one. This time we'll put another leader on it. Modify the leader and fill in the value. So we'll make this note number two. By the way, if you try to put in note number one, it'll warn you that there's already a number one there. <clears throat> so if you put in note number one, um, you, you should know that you know, you've already got note number one and you probably don't want to put the different text in there. Now another option would be to make these values type-based, but the downside to that is you'd have to create a new type for every single number, which probably wouldn't make sense. So you do want to be a little bit careful not to duplicate numbers here. Okay, so there's my note for that. Now I can copy these, so if they repeat themselves somewhere else in the plan, I can just copy those notes and put them over here and so forth. So I got a few notes on here now. Let's go ahead and create the actual keynote table or note table. We're going to do that by going to the view, t the view tab of the ribbon, click on Schedules and Note Block. We'll choose the note tag block as our note block, and we'll call this, uh, we'll just call this, um, how about notes. We're going to use the note text and the note number in our fields, and we might want to rearrange these. Well, actually, this is the way I want, note number followed by note text. We'll group, or sort, I should say, on the note number. <clears throat> might want to format these a little bit, so change maybe what's in the column header. And there we go. 
probably not exactly what we want because our notes are duplicating themselves. We really only need to see them once, but that's just another function of uh, columns or schedules. When I go into the uh, sorting and grouping area of the uh, uh, schedule properties, I can simply turn off itemize every instance, and then I'll only see one instance of everything that is identical. This would be another place where you could check your numbers, right? If you had two number ones here with different notes, you could fix that at this point. You can actually edit these right here in the schedule itself if you want to. So I'll go ahead and put this on a sheet. And there you go.